button. And it looks like we're recording. So good morning. Welcome to the iClub Biz slash iWebatool marketing system call. Uh, my name is Joe Shu. And uh, what we'll, we're doing here today, this is not an opportunity meeting or any kind of education about the company. It's about our marketing tool, which happens to be, uh, for me, probably the most important part of our business is learning what marketing is about. So let me describe to you the difference between marketing and sales. Marketing is what you do to get your information in front of people. Sales is what you do when you get them there. So that should be very clear. Marketing and sales are not the same thing. So what we're talking about is a marketing system. In other words, a, a system to get our information in front of people. And that to me is the biggest problem in this industry is correctly, effectively, and professionally giving people information about your company, our company, the company. And at putting it in front of them is one thing. Putting it on a billboard is marketing. Flyers, papers, uh, newspapers, radio, that's all about marketing. And what we need to understand is that we don't have a brick and mortar business to hang a sign or run a newspaper ad. We have to create ways or follow people who, who correctly market in this industry. And one of the things that we do is we use marketing companies and we use a contact manager. So one of the things that is important to me is to have a, a management system so that you can manage the people that you are actually communicating with. The first thing that one needs is to have a database. Obviously, there has to be an audience to speak to or speak with. You, you, you must have that audience. That means that audience means database, a hopefully large group of people and individuals who are um, listed in your, oh, let's say contact manager, but again, let's use the word database. And then using that database, you can decide on what it is you want to market to them. I have always been a believer that you build a database of people that you want to introduce to becoming a member, therefore helping build the business. One of the main things we should all be focusing on is building iClub Biz, not just our individual. If we build iClub Biz, we are building our individual teams and businesses. So the main focus of everyone should be to keep this business going doing your part, participating to the point of building iClub Biz. That's what all of our goals should be, keeping iClub Biz in business. Growing the business grows your business. Your activity would be to grow your group. And the result of growing your group is income because people purchase your product. No one gets paid unless product or service moves from manufacturer to consumer. And so in order for us to be paid, we grow the company. We, product and, and or service moves from the manufacturer or the individual company to, to a consumer. In order to get paid, you have to be in the middle of transactions. You get in the middle of where money is and where money is going. So money is in the hands of the consumer and where it's going is to the company or companies. And when you're in the middle of the transaction, you get paid. All companies operate that way, whether it's a car dealership, think of that for a moment. Those people 
sell cars. The person on the lot is ultimately the one who finds the individual, at least in the communication part of that, on the, on the lot or on the phone or on the website. They find people who are going to exchange cash for cars. Money changes hands. But guess what? Everyone gets paid in that transaction. No different here. The receptionist in the car dealership gets paid. The vice president, the manager, the owner, the secretaries, corporate, everybody gets a piece of that. So that's the way we are in our business. No different. I think they just described this business and they continue to describe it in a way that doesn't make sense. But when you think of it like that, everyone is getting paid in your organization from you on up, so to speak, you're the salesman on the lot, so to speak, and everybody above is going to get a piece of that. Why? Because they help put you in place. So that would be your goal. The head of your company and your division, so to speak, is you, people below you have transactions. You, you are in the middle of those transactions because you help that person in place. So I wanted to clear that and make sure everybody, you know, kind of remembered that and realized that we're in a business of transactions. The company, if you were to describe what is iClub Biz, it is very clear that Jeff points out that we are a network distribution company. That's what we do. We're not a sales company. We operate in the home business arena, but we are a network distribution company. And when someone asks us, what is it that your company does? That's the answer. What industry are you in? We're in the network distribution. And that's really key to know that and understand that when you answer questions. And you'll see that when you actually get to the communication class for this industry. That, that's important to describe your company like that. So today is about understanding this marketing system, getting our information in front of people. That's the key. So Mark, I wanted you to open up your microphone if you could, please. This is Mark okay. Stevens, and let me explain to you who Mark Stevens is. Mark is actually my sponsor in this business. We have been partners for a long time in business, and sometimes uh, I have been the sponsor, sometimes he has. Our egos are not in the way at all. All we care about is helping other people to make money to build their businesses, and we spend a lot of time helping people do that, and helping them meaning that we educate them. Um, so, Mark, I just wanted you to, to uh, say a few words about the marketing, you know, in this company. And I know Mark, he continues to say, I am sending everybody to this company. And it, the reason for that is because we do have a company, uh, you know, we have a company owner that is actually caring and in tune with the, with the, uh, the, the field. So anyway, Mark Stevens, thanks for being here. Hey, thank you, Joe. Good morning, everyone. Uh, you know, Joe, as you said, uh, the importance of marketing, uh, as we said, it's, it's getting your information in front of people. And you often say also that, you know, you can control doing that, but you can't control what happens afterwards. So you're expecting sales to come afterwards, but that's not, as you said, that's, that's not the business we're in. In other words, what we're building is our distribution network. And once we build that and help build this company, that allows us to make income because if product doesn't move from producer to consumer, then there's no money made. And when I first found this system a few months ago, uh, Joe was the first one that I introduced it to because it was different from anything that I had ever seen before. And when I introduced it to Joe, he agreed. And so, I actually kind of went away because I was doing so many other things, but Joe really took this and ran with it. And as he often you hear him say, he finally found an owner that was willing to listen to someone in the field to improve what was going on within the company to help everyone out. And that was something that was very exciting to me because we always talked about that. 
And I always said that some of your greatest ideas come from the field as opposed to the company. So, and, and Joe discovered that Jeff Evers was a, an owner that was willing to listen because again, it wasn't about selling, but it was about distribution and building people's networks and organizations that they could make money. But an, another very important component to that is simply this. You often hear Joe say that, you know, you can be talking to a lot of people, but it doesn't mean that they're listening. And that's where communication comes in. It's so very important because people really don't care how much you know. They want to know how much you care. And if you really care, then you're going to get in there and work with the people that you introduced to this business. And as a leader, you're going to work with them to help them build their distribution system, not sell products, but build their distribution business. So what I would do is encourage everybody to listen very carefully and take notes because probably what you're going to hear, and I don't know that all that Joe is going to talk about, we didn't talk about this, but I just know him and I know what this system is about and it's very important. It doesn't matter what business, other businesses that you have are, or are working, this will work for that and many more. And I happen to feel that anybody that's in the online business, multi-level marketing, uh, you know, that type of business online, they need this system. It doesn't matter who you are, how much you think you know, this is a system to have. And this is why I said that I'm going to introduce this to thousands of people because it would help them build their distribution network. And if they're part of my network, it automatically builds mine, and then we make income. Thank you, Joe. Thanks, Mark. Hey, Claudia, can you open up your microphone? I know this was a, a sudden uh, uh, ask you to do this, but I really would like you to come in here. Yeah, I'm on. Good. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I, I want it. Um, people to understand that at first I want to say this about Jeff Evers. Uh, it's not that Jeff doesn't know business. He's the smartest business owner in 20 some years that I've worked with. I just want to make that very clear. And what Mark was saying, what I say is when Jeff is willing to listen to things, he's open to new ideas. A, a, a person who's close to new ideas basically is stuck in their own ego. That's all there is to it, their own problems. And Jeff is not stuck there. He, he likes information from the field and makes a decision whether or not can do it. So it's not that uh, that Jeff didn't know things. It's just that, you know, having help from the field is really important. And uh, that's what he meant by that. So let me just tell you this, um, you know, as far as doing the, the this project here with, uh, you know, Claudia is extremely uh, involved in this and in fact has created most of the, the, the information that you see, you'll see on these, um, these advertising pieces that are going to go out on the in the campaigns um and i want it claudia you said something to me yesterday and it just keeps sticking in my mind about uh, you know we finally have a formula right you know there really is a formula here for every new person that comes in when you bring a new person now it's no one's going to fumble to say uh, if you learn this system, no one's going to fumble and say, geez, well, I got them in now. What do I do? Well, yeah, call your friends and have these one hour chats and explaining the back office and all this stuff that really, if you're doing that with people should stop now because we truly have a way to take a new person and say, here's how you get started. And it starts with, let us show you how to get a database if you don't have one. So I wanted you to talk about that word formula because you said to me, Joe, we finally have a formula for success for a brand new person who knows nothing. So I'm going to turn it over to you. Yes. I don't even remember exactly what I said, but um, it's true that I, I believe the system is key. And we talked about that. You're talking about this all the time and all the elements that, that need to be in place to make it work and that somebody that comes in just plugs in and they need to be, of course, willing to follow it. You know, that it is always kind of another challenge to get somebody to truly follow it, you know, but if you truly follow it from the beginning to the end and you, you do all the things that you put in, you're still putting in place. I mean, we're adjusting, you know, we are um, constantly updating stuff. So, but once everything is really in place, um, I think there is no no way to fail, you know, if, if you have somebody that is engaging, that's committing, and that is willing to do the things that are in place, then we have it, really. We have it from, 
from beginning to end and all the elements are there. So yeah. that's really the key and I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm really excited about all of this. And that makes me really want to do this and want to go there and, and create what I'm able to create. So it's just fun, you know, I, and I enjoy working with you, Joe, and with Jeff and, and everybody else who wants to contribute. I mean, it's just a, a great um, endeavor that we're on. And um, I can right. wait to see this grow. Are you okay if I show that? Uh, I know it's still on a Word document. I don't think Gio got it back to us yet. I, I know you're working with that, but is it okay today to show that? Sure. I mean, okay. yeah, absolutely. Okay, good. All right, I'll do that um, in a few minutes. Um, we run it. I want to go now, but thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. And um, thank you. Yeah. Okay. So I want to. I want to uh, now talk. If, if there's any questions, here's a, here. Let me just set the stage here now. We're, we're the formula for success in network marketing, home business, MLM, whatever you want to call it, is database, contact manager, communication, which actually equals system. So the database is probably the very beginning, the foundation for all of this is the database having people to put your information in front of. And it can't be just a handful of people of your friends and family. 95 plus percent do not make money or enough money to even make a profit in this industry. It is mind boggling to me that that exists, but it does. And, you know, we can change that formula here or that result here because we've added the piece to get the database. So that's the important thing people have to focus on. So what we have is a marketing company that Jeff also locked arms with that um, is telling us they can send out 20,000 emails within a 30 day, or no, I'm sorry, 20,000 submissions to business owners. A submission is putting information in front of 20,000 people. So let's use that word submission, but it, what it really means is that 20,000 business owners and uh, business people are going to see an ad. I think most of you saw that ad before. It's an ad about travel is what it is. It's a nice um, advertisement. It's uh, on a template and it will go out to the, those 20,000 people within that 30 day period until, or let's say we are guaranteed to get 50 people fill out the capture page. Cause what that ad does, it sends them that information, all the business owners, Jeff wanted to focus on business owners because they're the ones more likely to buy travel. And in the past, I was never a fan of trying to promote products. I was always just looking for people that want to build a business from home, a successful one. But here, because of the process we have in this marketing company, we're able to promote travel to business owners. And we think that, you know, that's an important thing to do to the business owners who are probably not going to join your network as a distributor, but we will sell the product to them. So that 20,000 will go out. And we are guaranteed that 50 people, five zero people, business owners, will fill out the capture page. And those campaigns will keep running until we get those 50. So we are going to get 50 people that are going to fill it out. That means fill out the capture page. Because once they see the ad and they say, yeah, let me see this, they're going to push a button and they're going to go to our capture page, which happens to be, again, I'm encouraging everybody to go look at this. It's the, in your back office under your capture pages. The number is 0010. Go listen to it. Go fill out the capture page and go see what that is all about. So you know. So now, you know, what those people are seeing. So once they fill out the capture page, they actually become a lead, right? As soon as they do that, that's why we capture their information. Once they fill it out, they go on the landing page, which gives them about four or five minute uh, uh, piece of information that allows them to make a decision. However, if they don't, if 50 of those people fill it out and let's say 20 of them actually just right there purchase without even talking to us, it's okay. We don't really need to talk to them again, right? All we really need to do is 
follow up on those 30 people who filled it out that didn't make a decision. Now, it's they're automatically going to get followed up because we wrote letters that are in on that capture page. Once they fill it out and move to the landing page, it triggers a set of letters for about 30 to 40 days. And they keep getting letter after letter after letter every three or four days to remind them to go back and look and to purchase the product. So it's really on automatic pilot, to be honest with you. We really don't have to call them. If you want it to, we could. So that's part one. The second part of it is looking, so that's 20,000. In this system, we're also guaranteed that, we, that the system will send out 10,000 notices, advertisements to network marketers um, and people who are existing affiliates throughout this industry, regardless of the company they belong to. And we will, those statistics we will get the names address email addresses and phone numbers and ip addresses and uh, of those people who we are sending it to we actually get those on a spreadsheet ten thousand of them every month don't worry about the database how much they have they have almost an unlimited number of people in the industry so we have the database to cover all of that regardless of the campaigns. So 10,000 will go out there and we will get the list of those people to follow up. So um, what I asked Claudia earlier was, can I show that the ad that they're gonna see? And I want you to keep in mind when I do show it, it, it is not the finished product. Claudia is working with the designer because this is about a mobile app, mobile apps, and ads are different getting them on your phone than they are on your computer. So they're trying to make it fit. So we're gonna show you that in a little bit. So they're gonna get that ad. That ad is going to encourage them to click for more information because it covers exactly what we just talked about. Do you have a database? And Claudia just created this. She did this on her own one night and called me and said, I got it, let me show you. And uh, we have that ready. So it's just in design, it's in uh, production right now. So they click that on and they go to another capture page. Once again, write this down. If you're in the company, you know, 0002. That particular um, capture page, it has a less than two minute front end uh, video that Jeff explains to, uh, you know, what we're looking for and then they fill out the capture page they end up on a landing page of seven more minutes I think it is four to seven minutes that explains the company and gives them an opportunity to uh, maybe join but basically you know they go into our contact manager and this is where a, an effective contact manager goes That, that's where you know it goes into the contact manager and it allows us to follow up with those people but once again we have created letters in there for about 45 days or so they're going to get follow-up letters so they're the follow-up letters once they fill it out they're going to start getting that those letters encouraging them to connect with us so that we can have a discussion and see if we're on the same page that's what that does. So for those that don't understand the contact matter, that's part of the system. And that for me, that's the most important part, filling it out and then getting to speak with those people. So we'll have, we will know because in our back office in the contact manager, it shows who filled it out. And then we can contact them. And at that point, now, now we get back to what Mark said. The third part of this is the communication to those people. Honestly, I want, I want people, I, I am not reading any of the chats. I think I can see them now. I, I wanna know, and, and please don't, don't, don't be embarrassed to do this, because I can promise you now, I, I could pick on a bunch of people you know, throughout this industry, leaders, so-called leaders, that have no clue how to make a phone call and how to talk to people effectively. Oh, this but, is Shirley. Yes. Have you, did you, Share that. No, I did not. No, I'm not ready to do that yet. I'm going to do it at the end. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So I want to go to that and ask you, could you type in there? Do you feel as though you have the correct communication skills 
to effectively, if I handed you one of those leads and said, here, call this person up, they filled out the capture page. Could you professionally, could you effectively pick up that phone and talk to that person with confidence? Could you do that? Please answer yes or no. Type it in the box and tell me. And I can see the answers on here. Now, you notice, you notice the answers on here. I don't know who from iPad to everyone, I don't know who that person is. Um, do you notice that the, I'll tell you something, I'll notice. The, the yeses that are on there, guess what those people ha have done in the past. <laughs> They've taken the communication class. You can see the ones who've taken the class, mostly. Some people have said yes, and I, I, I understand that. There are going to be people who can handle that. But do you notice most of the answers are no? Do you know why? The industry never taught you to do that. And I can tell you without, without having to go into a long thing about communicating, uh, when, when you take this class that Jeff is going to offer uh, through the back office, all those no's are going to be yes. I promise you, and I, I, I know that the people on this call, Shirley and Claudia and Mark and so on, that have all been through that class, probably Dan, I don't know if he answered, but yes, I'm sure that he did. Um, I, I promise you, when you come out of there, you will have an entirely different mindset and your, your communication skills, there's Peter again, because he's had the class, you will, you will be able to effectively speak to those people. So I won't cover any more than that to show you that you can see one of the ingredients missing here is communication. So now let's go back. Yes, Th there you go. Claudia said she took the class. She did, and she wants to practice. She's one of the people who, who you know, been through the class a few times probably, and like all the others, and, and they, what we've done is put people together and let them role play with one another. And then what we're going to be doing is that class will be available. And during the week, I'll be doing advanced training for those that got on the class, got in the class, took the class during the week, you'll be able to get on a live call where you can interact with the people who have taken the class, ask questions. You'll be able to role play a little bit. You can team up with people and I'm going to answer questions during the week and help you out for any struggles that you had during the week on, on the phone calls. So there's the pieces to the puzzle. You see, those, those things have to be in place in order for you to be successful, I promise you. Um, so now let's go to how this binary works because most people, and thanks for answering that really. I appreciate everybody putting those answers in there. Um, uh, let me read something here from Peggy. Once I know what I'm talking about, then yes, yeah, easy outgoing to say, uh, doesn't make you yeah, think. Okay, so I get it. Yeah, you're right. Imagine, I, I asked Henry this yesterday and I asked uh, Donald, so I'm sure they won't mind me saying this. We had this talk about the class and they're taking the class now. But I said, well, what would happen if somebody asked you if this is a pyramid? How would you answer? Now, they answered exactly like everybody else does when I asked that question. It's a hesitation. It's, uh, you know, something as if, uh, well, everything's a pyramid. If you look at the government, if you look at uh, companies and corporate structures, they're, they're, they're pyramids. But uh, here, uh, you know, the people above you uh, not necessarily make all the money. And see, none of that explanation works. And that's what we've been taught over the years to say that. In this class, every question that comes up is answered. And you get those answers and you learn how to effectively do it. But more importantly, you learn the techniques to get back to your agenda, which is moving that person along to registration. That's the purpose of the phone calls, is to move, discover whether they are, uh, they are absolutely a candidate or are they just a suspect? Are they a prospect? Probably not. But if they, they aren't a, a prospect, how do you get rid of them? How do you politely move on when you discover that that person is not what you were looking for? And you know that's happened many times probably happened with your relatives when you probably sorry you opened your mouth 
when they give you a hard time? How do you dismiss yourself or dismiss them from that? How do you get out of the conversation politely without feeling embarrassed or upset or, you know, and, and we teach you that in the class. It's very, very simple to do. It's just that you've never been taught. And the whole industry is full of that, which is one of the parts, one of the ingredients to failure is, look, knowledge, right, is power. And if you don't have the knowledge of that segment of the business, it, you're powerless. So we're going to help with that. All right, so let's go over. I'm going to screen share, and I want to go over um, any – I'm going to explain this binary because most people don't and we'll, we'll cover that now. So let me screen share and bring that up. And you should see my screen now. Is that correct, Shirley? Yes, I see it. Yep. Okay. Let me uh, go over here and there we go. There's our current slide. You should see that now. Now, <clears throat> let's, let's talk about why this system. Th this isn't everybody that I know can help you get leads. They tell you buy leads and, you know, and, and then just call the people and so on. The problem with that is, is that, you know, again, the education, the communication education, nobody knows how to do that. <clears throat> so in a system like we have in this binary compensation plan, we have a unique situation where we can help everybody win. And here's what it means. I want you to please don't pay attention to these arrows that say personally sponsored. They're, they're, they're really not important for what we're doing today. What's important is that we see that you, this is you, your business starts here with you. And you must have people on your left side and people on your right. But remember, any, everybody that's on their left, if they have people on their right, they're still on your left. So if you draw an imaginary line down the middle, you would see that everybody that A, B, C, or one, two, three had, all of the people on there, if they build and put people in here, they're still on your left side. So you're building your left, you're building your right. And everybody that is in here on your left, whether they're inside legs or not, are on your left. So that's the volume is created here. Now, let me explain this. In the past, you may have purchased with, uh, I'm going to ask that question, if, and I can't see the chat, so if somebody just tells me the answers here. Have you ever been involved with a group of people who wanted you to put money in to buy leads and then share the leads. They call that a co-op. That's what they call it, a cooperative effort, recruiting effort. And, and let me know somebody, Shirley or Claudia or somebody, let me know whether you see people typing in or not and tell me yeses and noes. So that's, um, a lot of people have done that in the past, including myself initially, where I put money in with other people and we, we bought maybe 50, 50 leads of people who filled out capture pages. So are people answering, Shirley? Yeah, Eugene, Claudia, Ron, Simon, and I'll say yes. Okay, so let's just say the majority of the people have experienced that before. So let me explain why that hasn't worked for you. Because if that would have worked, you see, everybody would just keep doing it. And you would find people and you'd put your money together. It makes sense. You get more leads, you split it up, you get a bigger package. Here's the problem with it. Let's assume that A is Alan and D over here is David. And let's say this is Bob and Charlie and this is Ed and Francis. Now let's say they all went in together. Six people went in and they all put $100 in and $600 and they were buying leads and maybe they got a thousand leads. They bought the leads and and uh, maybe they just called the leads or sent them information, okay? The problem is that these people are not in the same line as each other. These three are. These people are in a different place. So if Edward over here happened to make phone calls on those thousand leads and he happened to find somebody, um, you know, if he found, you know, another person who was really – saw this and was going to go build the business, everybody put their money in. And yet Ed is the only one who's going to benefit. Ed could put somebody on his inside leg, which means only David would benefit. Well, actually, David would also benefit from everything Ed did. But Francis would not. 
Francis would have no volume at all from whatever Ed did. And guess what? Ed put 100 and so did Francis. Now Francis doesn't get anything. And so you can see, I don't have to explain anymore. That happens no matter what. Only certain people would, would actually benefit through the volume if you split up a co-op like that. So because we're able to get the marketing volume we're getting from this company, <clears throat> what we have done in the past with these types of, I did that one time and I was upset because obviously somebody out here got a, got a, uh, you know, a powerhouse player who ran with it. And the only person to benefit was Dave and Ed. And these people lost out, including myself. So I swore never to do that again. I wasn't lucky enough to grab that person. And even if I did, it wouldn't have been fair to the other people. So what you do in a cooperative recruiting effort in a binary is you find people here in one line and you, this is where you buy it, buy it together. Now I do want to say in an advanced training, I would tell you that you could actually do it with this person here. You see, these people could cooperate here and maybe uh, all the volume could go this way. So I won't cover that today, but if you sit down and figure this out, you would see that, yes, this person could be part of a co-op and you, these people didn't put any money in here, so therefore they wouldn't benefit, but you, A, B, and these people, you could build that with these five people here and then everything would go down below this, this volume here. Anybody that came in would go here under three. That, that way, this whole upline here would actually benefit. You could do that. Right now, we're showing people, let's go down into a line here and find five people who want to participate in this beta testing of this new marketing system. Let's find who they are. Now, we have a lot of people. Um, I don't know how many groups. Maybe there's getting close to 10 groups who are going to participate in a co-op. In our group, what we, what we wanted were five people. Keep in mind that the the program is actually cost $500 to get those 20,000 and 10,000. And there's more benefits and features to this, to this particular program that supplies those numbers. And that is texting. There is a texting, uh, 5,000 texts can go out. There's, there's um, broadcasting and so on. But for the right now, the important part is those submissions and, uh, submissions to both those groups. So what we want it, because it costs 500, we wanted five people here, at least in this line, and they didn't have to be in a row. They only had to be in this line. And the reason they had to be in this line is that when a new person fills out the capture page and joins the company, they get placed down below here on this particular line so that everyone got the volume for their monthly business right here. Everyone would get it. So if Mary was a brand new person and she just joined today and these five people here all participated in the cost of that program, then we would place Mary here. And of course, this person who didn't pay anything is going to get the volume. So to understand why the five go in here, what benefit is it to them? Every one of these people will share in the sponsorship of each individual. So the first one would go to A. Alan or Al or whoever that is would get the first sponsorship. So <clears throat> the 20,000 uh, submissions went out. Somebody filled out a capture page and decided they were joining. Well, Let's say Alan was the first person to get it. The, the person would be placed here, but Alan would do the sponsorship. Why is that important? Because Alan now has an opportunity to share, uh, it, uh, to have a share here of this volume here, meaning that he would have a matching bonus. A, uh, he would be able to match this person's income here by a certain percentage. And that's why you want sponsorship. Is that just another way to, to, to increase your income? So A would get the first one, B would get the second, and so on. So the sponsorship is now within the people who actually paid for the system. Now, the question becomes, 
what happens with B or anybody that wanted to build their inside leg? Well, once again, remember the beginning. You, a, a cannot take that person and sponsor it and put it in here. Logically, it wouldn't be cooperative anymore because B, C, and so on would never, ever get the volume. Only A would get that volume. So when those 20,000, if and when those 20,000 become part of the company, um, it's, it's distributed this way so that everybody gets the volume. And if a person filled out a capture page in the system, it remains in the system. So let's just say now that A says, okay, I do need to build my inside leg. How would he do that? And what would he use in this particular program to do that? Well, we get 10,000 leads every single month. We get 10,000 leads. If five people paid for it, everyone would get 2,000 leads of network marketers, affiliates from other companies for which you could then go in and speak to them and call them and, and uh, present your information. If they join the company because you called them, because you connected with them, you put them in your autoresponder, you made a phone call, you did a blast, any of the marketing efforts that you had and you recruited that person, well, you can put them right here. You've got, this is what we were talking about at building a database. You automatically, in that first month, you have a database now to work with where you didn't have before. Did somebody have a question? Somebody have a question? Okay, well, turn off your mic, whoever that is. So, um, so there's how A, B, C, and the people that are in the co-op who have paid for it will build the inside. They will have, they will have 2,000 leads during the month, and they'll be able to take and, and now that's where the communication comes in. How do I call them? What do I say? How do I do it? You can't just send them an email and expect them to join. It's not going to happen. We're in a communication business here. So you've got to be able to learn how to do that. And that scares some people, but I promise you after the class, you won't be scared again. This is Shirley. I have a question. Sure. Say for instance, that you already have some people that have joined without being in the co-op and they're on your right leg, so to speak, if you're going on or whichever leg that you're putting the co-op on, if you already have somebody in that line, do they share on anything? You know um, I mean? Let me see if I, let me see if I can explain uh, what that means. Okay, so I'll try to see if we we're, we communicate it. And communication is she talks, I listen, and then I repeat what she said so that I know that I'm answering the right thing. So let me see if I know what you said. I think what you're asking me is if let's say you were, let's say that you were taking those 2,000 leads, Shirley, and you were calling those people and someone decided to come in, right? Let's say you already had three people existing here before the campaign. They're already sitting here. They're not part of the campaign, but you took those 2,000 leads and you're calling and you're going to go build the inside with those 2,000. Um, no, and, and then that's not, that's not what I mean. If, if you have somebody on your right leg and somebody on your left leg already in, do they and before before this co-op even started, do they enjoy any of the benefits of the co-op? I co was answering that. I, I that's what I was doing. So let me finish. <clears throat> we have people on the right and people on the left, and you before you started, you had these three people there. Correct? Correct. You had people right. on both sides. Right. That's fine. So you do it and you call those people and you bring somebody new in. Do these people benefit only if you place somebody under them? You have to put them either here or here. Correct? You understand that, right? What if they're already in before this co-op started? They're, these people are already in. So when you And what does that mean? The only way they're going to benefit is if you place somebody under them. Well, if they're already in, you're bound to put somebody under them. 
that's my point. Okay. Yeah, we're not communicating, so let's try again one more time. These people are already in, and you have a new person to bring in, and you place them under number three. Then they benefit. These people are not part of a co-op, but you're building the inside leg with those 2,000 leads, and you recruit a new person. They have to go somewhere. They have to go here if you're building the right leg. Well, they could go on somebody's inside, but I wouldn't do that. But you're putting it, now you put that person right here, number four. All three of those people get the volume. So what if I put them in from a different set of leads? They, all right, I'm gonna ask you a question. When you bring somebody in, and this is you, B represents you. When you bring okay. somebody in, what are your two options to place them? Where would they be placed? Two options. Left or right. So you're under this three or under this three, right? Correct. Okay, so now what's your question? If I if I if I don't use if I use a different set of leads like I bought from someplace else. Right. And and they join, do they enjoy the benefits of the co-op? If you brought somebody in from a different set of leads, we just said you're going to either put them here or here, correct? Correct. All right. Now, let's say that's number four. You put it in here. Okay. Now, the next person that comes in, you brought in from the co-op lead. Where would they go? What would their number be? Four, but I'd probably I just said we already side. have four. Nope, we already have four. We put somebody in here that came from a different set of leads. Number four, here. Okay, okay. they'd go number five. Okay, so number five. So with number four, three, two, and one, would they benefit from that volume? I don't know because they okay, didn't well, pay the for the co-op. Let, let me tell you, it has nothing to do with the co-op. It has to do with if somebody is below you, you benefit from their, from their volume. That's business volume. Their volume counts for yours. That's the importance of a binary that everyone, when they are placed underneath of your leg, whether inside or out, get, they all get the volume. Ever see this? I'm glad you're asking this, Shirley, because I know you're not the only one. The, the important part, let's go back up the top. This is you. Everything on left or right, whether they're inside legs or not, all counts for your volume. And that should answer the question of whether or not here it matters. Everybody under you on either side, regardless of inside or out, creates volume for you. That's why it, there is a binary, so that volume can be created within the organization, regardless of who brings them in. Oh, so the only thing that they don't get is the two, is the, say the 2,000 leads, unless they're in the... The, the only thing they don't get they, is sponsorship. You get the sponsorship, they get volume. Everybody gets the volume. It doesn't matter. Okay. When you start your business and you bring Alan and David in here, everything they do is your volume. Okay. That's it. They I, all get business I, volume. Okay, any other questions? There has to be more questions here. Questions, questions. Okay, Jill, oh no, that's not a question. Jill says buy your own co-op for 10,000 also. Uh, right, so we'll go in and talk about that. Well, the, well the, So let's make an assumption and Bill, I think you said Bill, but let's just say, again, everybody think of this as you. Everybody's looking at this and saying, okay, that's you. Now, you have a co-op going on. And let's say that you decide you want another co-op going right away. All the volume from that co-op is going down this leg. Everybody's benefiting. Everybody's getting volume here on this co-op. But A says, Alan says, you know what? I would like to build my inside leg right now. I don't want to wait. I know I'm going to get 2,000 leads, but I'm going to go build the inside leg. 
Or let's say one is not a member of the co-op. He didn't pay money, but he's getting all that volume because it's being created. Because A, B, two and three, A, B, C, two and three, out, this person didn't pay a penny. They are getting all the volume that's coming down this side. But he says, you know what? I'm getting volume. I'm going to put somebody on my left and I'm going to put somebody on my right. How does he put it on his right? Bill just said it. You can buy, you, you can buy a co-op. You can participate in a co-op for as little as $100, with they're sold in $50 increments. But if you want it to, and Jeff approved it, which he will have to do, is that you will buy, a, you, will, you will actually participate and get the $100 program. Now, obviously, you're not gonna get 20,000 submissions and 10,000 network marketers. You're gonna get much less, you're gonna get 1,000. But you could technically start a co-op on your inside leg and start building this while this volume is building. And I encourage people to think about that, especially those not in the co-op. Go build the inside. How do you do it? You get your own co-op, bring a few people in here, and then maybe those people in one of those months would be able to uh, you know, participate. You could get them to come in and share in that and actually upgrade from 100 to 300 or 500. Peter has a question. Who is it? Peter has a question. Peter, I want Peter to open the microphone and, and explain the question to me. Thank you, Shirley. Peter, open your mic up and talk to me. All right. He, wants to, he wants to know if the toggle switch for left or right will be kept on right. Ah, uh, good, very good question. Um, so let me explain how the co-op works. Again, this is you, say this is you, Peter. Let's say you are heading up the co-op. Let's say that you are the administrator or host of that co-op. Let's just say that were true. And what you're going to do, and let's assume for a minute that you are building your right side with that co-op. These people, well, actually let's go left. Let's say that the left side you're building. The co-op has its own position. So for instance, when the ads go out, the host has a special account that he can go look and see all the responses. People that filled out capture page and in that particular special account that he has, which is out here, let's call it in the cloud. It's out here. You can log into that cloud, so to speak, and you can see that volume. You're the only one that can do that unless you allow someone else to do it. So you can go in and see the volume and you can see what's going on. Now, in there, you're gonna to go to your holding tank and your placement and you're gonna put every person that comes in that joins is gonna go in a holding tank until you decide where they are going to go. So, even, it doesn't matter whether the, the co-op is gonna be on a holding tank, so they're not gonna go left or right. They're not gonna go anywhere until you designate where they're gonna go. So let's say the first person comes in. You are gonna say, okay, uh, A, who's in my co-op, will sponsor that person. So you place sponsorship to A, and then you say, where will we place it? Then you go down here, there's another switch that you throw, basically, or check off and say, okay, we're gonna put it down below three on three's left side. You make that decision. Doesn't matter what three has in their own, if they have it switched on to right, doesn't matter. You're making the decision that you are placing the new person here under three and you're giving sponsorship to A and placement on three's left side. You have that option, Peter. Does that answer your question? Does that help everybody? I think. Peter I said yes. Good, perfect, thanks. Okay. Any other questions? Yeah, just a minute, I gotta get back to you. Oh, they wanna know $100 a month for how many months? You should get in, P Jeff keeps saying a minimum of three and hopefully three to six months. You have to see the result of this. You know, you've gotta, this may not happen in, week, in month one, I don't know. We don't even know, you know, the result of this. You can only manage the activity, right? Not the result. We're gonna see where this bring, what this brings us. So, um, I'm telling you, you probably at a hundred dollars should commit to six months, but let me say this. Let's, let's look at some hypothetical situations. Let's say the, let us say that the first month 
we actually get out of the campaign of 20,000 submissions and 10,000 network marketers, let's say that we got 50 people to join the company. Those 50 people that joined the company generate a bonus. Each one of those has a fast start bonus of $10. 50 times 10 is obviously $500. That means everybody just received business volume and sponsorship for zero, for no pet, no, for, you know, money changed hands, obviously, but we've just now made the $500 back and everybody gets that money back. So the money is split back. That is our first goal is to actually get 50 people out of one co-op to join the company. And Joe, can I interject something? This yes. Claudia. Um, yes. So don't forget the travel submissions as well, which are designed to generate that fast start cash as well, right? And so right. I oh yeah, that, yeah, that's uh, hopefully I made uh, maybe yeah. I didn't make that clear. So that, the twenty thousand and the ten thousand are travel and networkers, and with the combination of those two, create that like when people come in, that that both of those generate a ten dollar fast start bonus. Is that what you mean? Yes, correct. And that's a huge benefit to participate in the co-op. I think there's always that kind of feeling that, oh, there's these people that are already in, in the lakes that don't participate, that they benefit from uh, yeah. the volume. But, you know, the, we should not forget that the, the goal to, create, uh, to, to go in the co-op is not just to create volume, but to pay also to, to generate that cash right up up front so you you um get basically do the mark you have the marketing program for free that it pays for itself plus you you have your sponsorships and plus you generate your bonds plus you're building your legs and all of that together yeah i think now imagine for a moment that the first month if that when that happens the rest of the six months is free i mean providing we can repeat that process and we should be able to because it's a brand new, you know, brand new set of leads. And if we do that and repeat that every month, every month it's free. Right. That's the goal. That's our goal is to get this to cost nothing. That's why we're doing it cooperatively so that we can create that volume. And we're going to see, I mean, I can tell you this, we're guaranteed 50 people we can talk to. Okay. Overall. And out of those 50, guaranteed 50, we still have 10, we still have the leads we get, 2,000 per person to be able to call. You should be able to close a, a number of those people for the tool, the iWebit tool, or the travel to generate that. But that's going to take an effort. That's why we're back to that communication, learning how to talk to those people. I can tell you that if a brand new person, let's say that, again, this is A, B, C, and 1, 2, or let's say these people were in the co-op, Let's say B was relatively new or was one of those people who said, I don't know how to talk to those people. I mean, Joe, I know I get 2,000 leads, but I have no clue how to talk to them. I haven't been successful in the past with that. Guess what? You don't have to. You've got a host here who should be able to or somebody in here that's been through the class that are going to be able to make those calls. It benefits everybody. I am willing to do that in the two co-ops that I'll be running. And Claudia over here is helping me run this co-op. Yeah, and, and Shirley, Joe, and Shirley and Mike on this side are going to help as well. Yeah, Joe, Joe just just made a really good point. Um, she said this volume to others should spark those resting right now, <laughs> and and that's I mean imagine you you seeing people coming in from above, yeah, just just you get these notices in your oh, email absolutely. and then you're thinking what's going on I, I just you know get these people in and, and something's happening I should look into this what's what's happening so that might really wake them up and do something and maybe also go into the co-op and also generate um, you know volume it, and it's just like a, a ball that we get rolling here I, I think yeah and I think I'll just explain here on the chart here let's say that number two is not in the co-op and they're getting volume down here and they're going, wow, how's that happening? How do I become part of that? And I guess that what you said, Jill said that it's, um, yeah, that should spark them and say, wait a minute, how are you doing that? Well, we remember our co-op, that's our system. That's part of the formula here for success is the co-op. So here, so this person could then become part of a new co-op. They could create their own co-op in here. And guess what? Now, the first co-op and a second co-op is now creating volume down this side. 
Or she could go in here and create a, a co-op on the inside, right? <laughs> There's possibilities here that are, it's really uh, very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. And look, this is not new. We have done this in uh, three other companies where we've created this volume in a co-op. Now, we didn't have the power of this marketing company today that's providing these submissions and so on. We did not have that. We trained everybody to make phone call after phone call after phone call to, to actually get our information in front of people. Here, they're going to be submitted, you know, 20,000 uh, to, to the business owners and 10,000 to network marketers. So we have a much better shot here. So if you're not educated on that, what we're going to encourage you to do is take this class. And number one, and start the ball rolling so you can participate. Look, there is a catch to all of this. We're talking about having success here. There's a catch to it, and it's called W-O-R-K. you got to go to work here. You really do. I mean, if you look at what's happened in the industry and see the, 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 the percentage of people who are not happy with their income, there's got to be something in there. Uh, you know, part of it is that they're not working at it, and part of that is they don't know how to work. And I promise you that's after 24 years in this industry, it is very clear to me that they're not being taught the right communication skills and the right mindset. The thing that drew me to, to Jeff was in the very beginning, he said, he tells you right in the beginning, uh, I think it's on an audio and, and also in writing, is that people just don't understand and, and that they actually have a business. And we talk about that in the class. They just don't understand they have a business. That's why your family and friends do not take you serious because you don't even believe that you have a business. If you did, you would operate it like a business. When I say you, I'm not pointing to anybody in particular. I'm using you as a universal statement here. And it's, it, it, it's like opening a shoe store. If you had a shoe store and you knew you had to be there every morning to open the doors, you'd be there. Would go in when you felt like it, right? It's just hard because we work at home. We're we're not supervised. The only supervisor is you. So, this is very exciting to me to see this, especially that we have an owner who is wide open to all this, who really wants everyone to succeed, and he gets it that people don't treat it like a business. He knows that. So we're going to really help people treat it like a business and show you. Part two of the class is about setting up your business and what activities you should be doing on a regular basis. So anyway, are there any other questions? We are I past see, the I don't see any. All right, we're past the top of the hour. If not, my here's my encouragement is to um, is to find some people who cooperatively want to learn this and learn what this is about, about this marketing tool. Try to just sit back and figure out who you could get in your co-op to make this happen. Uh, we're already working with some people. I don't know, I'm gonna ask a question to Jill. I don't know if you got my message or not, but um, I left a message for you and hopefully uh, we can talk. And the reason I called was I just had a discussion with a few people who know you and I, I didn't know where you were with this. And since you were participating in the communicating on the calls, I wanted to connect and uh, see if I could help in any way or a few of us could help uh, establish a co-op or whatever. So I left a message for you. If, um, if you have that message and my phone number should be on there, uh, give me a call. And if you choose to do that, then we'll, we can have a Joe, still? Yeah, hi, um, Joe. I got your message and I was about to type in, Joe, I owe you a phone call. So <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, I just figured we should communicate. I've got good people yep. talking very uh, good about you. Well, thank you. And, and I finally know what a binary is. Thank you. I really <laughs> didn't know. I studied yesterday. I actually went out online to find something so I could understand the difference between the matrix and the binary because I've never known. Yeah. I've really never known or understood it. So I appreciate yeah, well, people go. You're you're in a you're in a large, large, large group of people in this industry who have no clue what it is. It actually is the best pay structure when you understand it. Uh, it really is, and one day we'll talk about that. But thank well, you. Not my aha moment today, so thank you. <laughs> Good. All right. How about if I share my screen now and show you this? Uh, let me stop sharing first of all and show you the ad. Um, 
What does that say? Jill is late. Who put that up there? <laughs> oh, well. She did. I see. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So let me uh, go in here and grab the um, what I wanted to share with you. And let's see if I can pull this up. I have to pull up my emails to do that because that's where it is, Claudia. I don't think I saved it into. No, I didn't. It's a or did I? Maybe I did. I don't know. We'll find out. Unless you have it, and you can share your screen. I don't know if you can do that. I don't know how to do that on here. Uh, I guess I could. Let me try and see if I have the word. Let me see if I have it on a Word document, uh, the actual one. I was looking for it in my email. Let's see. Welcome. Uh, cooperative. You could share the, uh, the travel ad, too. I don't know if everybody has seen that one. It could be maybe interesting. Yeah, but it, whatever you choose. I have saved a bunch of these. I don't think I have it on a Word document. Uh, okay, let me just, I'm going to log into my email. <clears throat> so let me just grab that. I, I should be good. And I'm, um, all right, here we go. I probably should stop the recording and not show this ad yet. Or should I leave it on the recording? Hmm. Not sure. Yeah, maybe I'll stop the recording and just show it. So what we'll do, but I need yeah. to go in here and uh, open up your Okay, I have it here my email from you. The important part about advertising is to be plain, simple, understandable. This is just perfect for what we wanted, the message we want. You know, your message just has to be like a billboard, easy to read. All right, here we go. I got it up. Now let me go back and share my screen and then bring it over there. All right, share screen again. Let's do that. And here it is. Okay, so there's the ad. Can everybody see that now? Claudia, can you see it? Yes, I can. Okay, so this is, uh, this, if you take a look at this, Tired of Chasing the Dream, all in one system to finally create real success for your home business. Do you have a database? Do you have a professional contact manager? Do you have an effective marketing strategy? Do you know how to communicate effectively with your prospects? We provide it all, including a database. Click here to learn more. There's nothing more to say. This says it all. But anyway, um, this is what people will get um, for the network marketers. This is the, this is the ad. It will go out. And once again, we don't know what mobile ch changes we'll have for the mobile marketing. I don't know yet. But that's what it really should look like. And number two, this ad is going to be in your back office. So here's what my intention is for my own personal use. This ad will be back in your back office. You'll be able to click it on and bring it over to an actual email so that if you sent your family, friends, anybody, you wanted them to see this, you could actually uh, put this right on the body of the email instead of saying, hey, Mike, click this on. You don't even have to say that. Bang, you just put this in front of them. Now, I said family and friends. I will not send this to my family and friends. The, the, the uh, travel one, I will. The travel one is that I will send to everybody that I know. And it, it has a similar flavor to it like this. It's a, it's a, um, it's a uh, template. It has the information. And so when they open their email, there's not going to be anything to do except click a button instead of having to read well, do this, and here's our system, and read this, and we're going to be wonderful. This is what the ad will look like. So you'll be able to pull that into an email and send it to everybody you want. So I'll ask, um, how cool is that ad? I think it's fantastic. That's going to, it's, I mean, what else would you want to say? That's what we're looking for, right? We want them to know you need a database, a contact manager. Uh, a, a marketing strategy, which we have, yeah, it says we have it all. 
including a database, which is the key for people. Come on, there's got to be more comments about this. This is a pretty cool web. Donald here, Joe. It's straight to the point. That's what we want. Yep. Jill here. Um, as I understand what you said, that will be in our back office, which to me seems okay because everyone will benefit from the ad, but those who aren't doing the co-op will have to put in extra work to send this out to whoever they're prospecting, where for us, it just becomes an automatic, those that participate in the co-op. So yeah. again, it's another benefit from the, for the people that um, are just resting right now, as I call it. They will see that, oh, there's some new ad. Maybe I should at least try it. And they may get someone from it. Absolutely. And that's, that's good for us. Absolutely. So we have to be looking at this particle flow that's going to everyone, which makes this very powerful. Yes, yes, yes. Imagine the travel one. I never, Jill, I have never, after my first year maybe in networking 20-some years ago, I stopped talking to my family and friends. I had about had it with, you know, all the negative stuff. Now, also in the class, we teach you how to deal with family and friends. Look, you got Easter coming up for those that celebrate the, that time of year. And when that comes up and you're in a holiday, you are going to be with your family and friends and people are going to ask you, what are you doing now? How's that going? Or something is going to come up for some of you, probably most of you. And I say this, you better be ready to handle this time effectively. What should I really say to those people instead of getting caught up with, oh my gosh, we got this new marketing thing. You should see what's going on. And now we're going to, they're going to say, well, look, are you making any money? That's what I want to know. That's what they're going to do to you. <laughs> but we have a whole you know, dialogue about that on how to handle those people. And it's all about technique. So don't get caught up trying to recruit in your family affair, your family uh, functions, because it doesn't work, number one. And most people get caught up and wish they never opened their mouth. So we'll help you with that too. But this, I will send out to people, not this one. The travel one will clearly be in the hands of everybody that I know. Everybody I know, I'm going to put him in a, the contact manager and I'm going to designate that lead, that, that ad to those people. And I'm going to pound them every week, buying the travel package, buy the travel package, buy the travel package. I finally have a product that I can promote that everybody could easily do instead of some lotion or potion. So there we go. There it is. And now I didn't stop the recording. I guess Jeff could uh, cut that or whatever if he wants to. So I will stop the share. And we'll back to Jill is late. <laughs> That's what it says on my end anyway. On the screen. I forgot you guys can't see that. All right. Well, any other questions? Oh, no. They could all see it. Oh, they it was can? total transparency. Because I'll have to watch the beginning later. <laughs> okay. All righty. All right. So, everybody, um, thank you for being ad? here. What's that? Can we see the travel ad? Uh, we could if I could find it. Um, I'm, I, let me go into this here and see that for sure. We have it. Let's see where this one is. I can share it too if you if you Yeah, don't. why don't you do it, Claudia? Why don't you go ahead? I uh, do, no. uh, do you have the ability to share the screen? Yes, I can. Okay, good. Yeah, you do it. Oh, that's great. Thanks. Um, let me just pull it up. Um oh, one second. Let's see. The newest version. Oh, uh, I think I found it on my okay. end. Okay, here it is. You got it? Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, go um, right ahead. While she's doing that, this is Jill here. You know, I'm thinking that with these new ads, that it would be a good time 
for an email out to all of those of us who were resting to see those ads and say, give them a try. Get back in and, and take those ads and send them out. Just wow. like you said, you're going to send yours out. And because if that is sent out from Jeff, we'll all go, hmm. And that could cause some sparks in our legs as well. So I think a, a letter, uh, email from Jeff talking about these great new ads to try and put, put in just a bit of effort and see if it works for you, you know, beta test it for us and let's see what happens for you would be really good. Jill, that, yeah, that's and it may already be it may already be a thought, thought that's there, but if it's not, I'm placing it there now. Yeah, you know what? Anybody that has suggestions, why don't you put them in an email? Uh, you could send them to support. You could send them to me. I'm not going to give my email out across here. I just don't like doing that. I mean, not that I don't want to communicate. I just don't think people should do that. You know, since we're not, you know, I mean, okay, so. Um, yeah. Can you see everyone? Can you see it, Joe? Oh yeah, we see it. Yeah. So one one um, comment. No, we, we there's it's not the final version because obviously this last line, the plus receive rebates when you and your family and friends travel, that goes down here, I think, right? That's yeah, it does. It goes over to the left. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And then this up here also, I think, disappears. You are submitted. Yeah, that gets removed. Yeah, yeah. That, that'd be removed there. But yeah, that, right. there it is. Once again, this is a, a result of a, a team effort putting this together, including Jeff. But Claudia really designs these things and starts them out and gets it to, to its basic, simple form of just a quick message. So, Jameson wants to know if that's in our back office. Not yet. It's not... It's not out there yet. And Jeff is working on getting that there so that people can go back and, code, and be coded to you. I don't know that process about how that's going to be done, but Jeff will explain that, I'm sure. Okay. I'm sure it's going to be there soon. We're in these, there's so much to do here. Our main goal was to get this done, start the campaign with this. Now, uh, we're, we're a couple of days before the the. Uh, the template can be built from mobile. It's all done what you just saw for the networkers, but it, it has to be on the right template for mobile apps on a mobile app. So well, I don't know anything about that and they're working on it. But that adds pretty cool, right? I mean, right to the point. Travel like a travel agent, get wholesale rates on your personal travel without uh, tricks or gimmick. Yeah, this is, the, yeah, without, I think it just says now without gimmicks. Uh, uh, plus, you know, receive rebates when you and your family and friends travel. Click here for details. There it is. I'd like to ask a question, if I may. When it says click here now, say that you're sending this out, this deal out for on your emails and stuff like this. Uh, how would you put the uh, the deal for your your link to your uh, website? It be, Henry, it'll be automatic. It will be automatically there. Okay. Once you're back there and click it on, the coding will pick it up and any anybody that actually uses that, it'll say click here for details, it'll send it to, and this is going to 0010. Everybody should go look at that, fill out that capture page and see exactly what your prospect is gonna get. 0010 is the uh, capture page code. Okay. Yeah, it'll be coded to you. I love this ad. I can't wait to send this to everybody I know. Yeah, and and see that's that's the thing we want we want to and go, uh, Jeff's goal is is that he wants to automate and systematize every process in the back end and our in, in our business, and that's his goal to to automate and systematize as much as possible, and that's what we're doing. You know, you just have all these elements, and then it's easy to follow through for for us and for our process for everyone so it's it's gonna be great I'm, yep. I'm just really I'm excited I'd like to say something Joe it's Donald yes Donald yeah I just want to tell you guys Claudia and Joe I'm I'm just so happy like I said I got a permanent smile and you know I'm finally in a group and a team that is growing and and has got that determination to just keep on keeping on <laughs> Thank you, guys. I really appreciate you. 
Yeah, you, you're welcome. You know what? I'm going to say it again because uh, it's since our Eagles won the Super Bowl, but, you know, that saying is really, really true. He was able to pull these people together and have them believing in what he state, what he puts that big thing up on the board that said an individual uh, can uh, make a difference, but a team can make a miracle. It will be a miracle here, honestly, to be able to say we actually have a company where everyone truly – has the formula to succeed. That's what Claudia said to me yesterday about the formula. There's really a formula here now that no one should be able to come in. And we could create that miracle. We really could to say, wow, there's a company that actually has a plan for the new person who knows nothing. Hmm. So thank you for saying that. And uh, Claudia, thanks for your input. Shirley, thanks for uh, keeping an eye on all this. And uh, she's a, uh, let me tell you something about Shirley as well. Um, she has mastered the phone calls over the last, I'm just going to say the last few years, taking the class. She took it over a number of times and took it again recently. And, and she has mastered the art of the telephone to be able to pick up that phone. And she's not afraid to talk to anybody. I don't care who they are. She's able to go in and either get them more information or get them registered. One of the two. She knows exactly what to do. She knows how to handle every question. And I can tell you something, a year and a half ago, she could not. Today, no problem. I get more phone calls from her telling me that she just got another appointment or she's got somebody she just talked to and are you going to be available and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, you know, because she's not afraid to talk to anybody. Most people are afraid to pick up the phone and that's all due to education. Just don't know what to say. They're afraid they're going to say something wrong or you know, not know how to get rid of, where, where do you hear how to get rid of people on the phone when you realize they're not, they're not the candidate you want? We're going to teach you that. So with that, thank you all for being here. And uh, thanks for the, the questions, the participation. Uh, this is fantastic. And Claudia and Charlie, again, thanks a million for being here and taking care of everything. And we will see everybody again. Don't forget Tuesday night, Jeff does his call. And I just want to make this announcement. I'm going to say this. Uh, we have, over the last 18 years, I have had a club called The Breakfast Club, which where we had communication every Tuesday morning. It used to be every day. We have it uh, in Tuesdays in educating and answering questions. Uh, it's usually a 30, 40-minute call. Um, so Jeff and I have agreed to bring The Breakfast Club to iClub Biz only, the only company going to operate here. It's actually going to be called the ICB Breakfast Club. So we're partnering with that, so to speak, where Jeff will be once in a while as a special guest so that we don't overuse him. And uh, Claudia, myself, and Mark, and various people, uh, Shirley is the moderator of that, will be, we'll be bringing guests. We want people like Donald, like Henry, like Tony Berry, and people coming in with educational stuff and helping people. And uh, we're going to have, basically, it's going to be like a little radio show. So that is not this Tuesday. The following Tuesday will be our first one. The ICB Breakfast Club. That's what it's going to be called, and that's where we're going to go. And it's going to be on this channel right here. So with that said, thank you for being here. And uh, I appreciate your time and effort, everybody. And we will see you Tuesday night, especially for Jeff's call on Tuesday night to get more education. And just look for the notices. Uh, send any information in for suggestions and we'll look forward to it. So thanks everybody for being here. You have a wonderful, wonderful day. And uh, as Mark says, peace and blessings. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks, Joe. Thanks so much. Thanks, Joe. everybody. Always. Thank Bye, you, everyone. Bye, Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe, Claudia, and Shirley. You made some things really clear today. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Thank you. you guys are the best. Thank you, Joe. Thanks, Joe and Claudia. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, Thank goodbye. you, Steve. Goodbye, everybody. Have Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.